Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here, and in today's video I'm going to be going the Ozark Trail. This is a, the smallest bag that they offer actually at Walmart. They have a medium size also, and I believe there's also a large size. So this one here is the 350 Tackle Bag. Durable coated fabric, internal mesh pocket, three boxes inside for extra gear. So we're going to start on the outside. You have this handle, which it is adjustable. You can make it real long or you can make it shorter however you like. You have a side pocket on each side. Now these pockets are pretty small but you could put like some extra line, a couple of tools in there, maybe some lures. You have one on this side, you have one on this side. And this side also has a, they're the same size on the inside as you can see. And here you have a place to hold your pliers with the velcro strap pretty nice here on the front I didn't notice this there's actually a compartment here if you wanted to put something for quick access just know it's not going to be covered by zippers though you got this front baggie pretty nice size looks good enough to hold a cell phone maybe some small lures a power bank that's what I'm going to use it for probably and then let me turn this camera up a little bit up here you got the zippered pouch, pretty nice. You can put some extra packs of hooks, some lures, soft plastics. It comes with three boxes this size. These boxes are not that bad actually. Now most of the time whenever you get cheap boxes, there's going to be a gap between the hinges and the lid. But whenever you close this down, there is still a gap but it's not as bad as, as in most cheaper boxes. So I believe the hooks should stay in place for the most part and then lures will for sure there you can see the little dividers you have a couple of different options for how many spots to put them on it came with three of these boxes now one of them I did cut down already there's a couple of lures there for demonstration I cut the dividers on this one just so I could hold some spinner baits in here because normally you can never hold spinner baits in these smaller style boxes. So like this I'm able to here. And then I have the other boxes and I have other compartments as well. There you can see a small lipless. Here's a little rebel lure. There's a jig. There's a, what is this? 1.5 KVD square bill. So they do fit in there pretty nicely. I wanted to show another box. Let me bring it real quick. So here I brought the other box. These are the ones that came with my, what is it, the Magellan, Magellan Waiting Pack. I can't remember the size of these boxes off the top of my head, but here's one from the Plano series. You can buy these separately. I've seen these. They got them at Walmart, probably Academy also for sure. And now these boxes, wow, those are pretty good latches. They also fit in the bag as well, so you can either use the ones that came in there, or if you have some this size, you can use those also. Now I will show the little comparison between them. As you can see, this one's going to be longer. This one's not as long, but it is, how can you say it? Not by the length, but by the height. And it's also going to be a little bit deeper. So it's up to you which boxes you want to carry inside of it. I already know I'm gonna use this like for extra storage along with my pack so I'm probably gonna have maybe one or two boxes in here and then the rest of the space I'll use some soft plastics probably the bigger soft plastics that don't fit in my other case like the uh, the ones that come in clamshell packages most Kitex and paddle tail lures come in bigger packages and that's pretty much it. You'll see me using this bag as well. I could probably throw in my GoPro in here as well. A water bottle. It's a pretty good bag. This bag is $10 at Walmart. And honestly, you could use it as like a backup. Or you could put in some extra lures and just leave it in the car. And if you ever wanted to switch out your lures, you would go back to the car, grab some lures, put them in your backpack, etc. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. There's the Ozark Trail series where's that little tag 350 tackle bag 
It's a pretty good bag. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.